Hello, and welcome to our coverage of the second edition of the Gravel and Tar La Femme, raced within the scenic Manawatu region of New Zealand. Sport and outdoor pursuits are an important part of our region's identity. Situated between the west coast and the rugged Ruahine Ranges, it is known for its multitude of recreational opportunities. Palmerston North proudly hosts many national and international events. The Gravel and Tark has cemented itself within the international road cycling calendar and has become known as one of the toughest one-day races in the world. Starting in the award-winning town of Fielding, an agricultural hub known as the home of one of the biggest stock trading centres in New Zealand, the Gravel and Tar always enjoys a warm welcome from the locals of this beautiful colonial town. The 2020 event takes in the lush and green farmland of the Manawatu, the winding gravel roads of the Pohongana watersheds and the fertile Manawatu River Plains, once again finishing in the region centre, Palmerston North. So sit back and enjoy the spectacle of the 2020 Gravel and Tar La Femme. Well, here we are in fielding for the start of the 2020 Gravel and Tar La Femme. At the moment, the Commissaire is uh, just getting the race underway while it's still neutral. Um, it's a tight field. It's a quality field though. Catherine, there's some great riders here. Who are the riders you think are gonna be on the podium today? Well, Steve, I think two of the stronger girls that we're gonna have there today are of course Matilda Reynolds from Green Monkey Specialised Women's Racing, who won the Criterium yesterday. She's going really well. She's just come off the tour down, down under, and what's more, she's got a great team behind her. Then also we've got Neve Fisher-Black riding for the New Zealand women's team. Neve's picked up a contract with Bigler Katusha this year. I saw her before the race, and she's looking lean, mean, and really, really good. And they're about to start the race. They're getting on to uh, the final straight before the flag is going to be dropped. Let's see what happens. And you can see now the race has started. It's pretty calm. There doesn't seem to be any early attacks. I suspect they're waiting for the first gravel sector. It's a while away to that sector, and there's going to be a bit of wind in, in between. Um, I'm expecting uh, a few attacks early on. Catherine, what effect do you think the wind's going to have on how this race pans out? Steve, strong winds are going to play right into the hands of the strongest teams. So Green Monkey Specialised are going to love it if it's windy, particularly towards the end of the race. So we're about 20k in so far. Uh, it's a while to the first gravel sector. There's a new course this year. The idea was to uh, put a bit more bitumen in before the gravel. Uh, and, and just to let it be a little bit more like a normal road race before we hit the hard sections and the race starts to break up. You can see there there's a bit of crosswind, a small echelon forming, and some of the girls at the back are having trouble fairly early on. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens later on, especially when we get up top of the, um, uh, the watersheds uh, where there's a crosswind on top of the, uh, uh, the hills. And the race is going through some beautiful scenery. Those are the uh, Ruahini Ranges in the background. Beautiful uh, rural farmland. The Manawatu is the food bowl of New Zealand. Really nice and green. Um, and you can see the girls going down there across a ridge. The wind's starting to pick up a little bit. You can see them tucking into the left-hand side. They're sheltered at the moment by that row of trees, but as soon as they get out from the, the shelter, um, I expect to see it uh, get a little bit harder. Another of the international riders to watch could be Molly Patch from the UK. Molly's riding in Australia this year, but in 2018 she won the UK Time Trial Championships, so she's a very strong rider. There's a bit of jockeying here for position. Uh, they're going to turn around soon and there's an intermediate sprint coming up. There's a bit of money up for grabs and they're lining it out down the hill now. Green Monkey, you're going to try and line it up for Matilda Reynold. She got third at one of the Santos Tour Down Under stages the other day. She's a good sprinter. Let's just see what happens here. New Zealand national team, they're going to be looking for Neve Fisher-Black to win this sprint. It's a little hit climb just before the sprint, so I'll be interested to see who actually comes over the top there. Oh, Desiree Earler, she's well in front. Desi she's from Switzerland, and she's going to take the sprint home. Closely followed by, I think that's Katie Richards. Desiree Earl is a very experienced rider. She rode for Swiss Bigler team for five years, and for the last four, she's been riding in the Dutch women's racing. So it's not long now to that first gravel sector for the girls. They're turning now into Coulter's line. Uh, you've got to be up the front when you hit this sector or you've got no chance. This is the Orua River Valley. It's beautiful and green down here. 
Uh, what the girls, if they've done this race before, are going to know is it's a climb coming up. It looks like they've got back together after that sprint and it's a compact bunch coming into the bottom of the hill. You can see they're just working their way up the gravel climb here. It looks like there's been an attack on the climb. It's starting to break up on, yeah, definitely breaking up there. And we've got one in front. I think that's Neve Fisher Black. And no one in sight behind. It's a great move. And Neve's starting to pull out a fair lead there. The other two are a long way behind at this point. She, they've, they've put about, she's put about uh, a minute into them. And we've got a chasing bunch of five. Uh, we've got two green monkeys in there, a New Zealand national. And the two chasers, that's Bloor from Australia and Shepherd from New Zealand. They're still struggling to put time into the leader, Neve Fisher Black, and here's the chase group here. It's being whittled down to four, and they look like they're uh, struggling a little bit. Perhaps they're resigned to running fourth, fifth, and sixth. We can see the effect the wind's having here now with the girls echeloned out across the road. That's going to be pretty hard for riders that are on their own. In the chase with Ella Bloor, we've got Samara Shepherd from the New Zealand women's team. Samara went to the Commonwealth Games in 2018 as a mountain biker. Um, so she's mixing it up with a bit of a road racing this year. And talking to her before the race, she confessed that today would only be the second time she's been on the gravel. And Neve Fisher Black right up the front there. She's passing the first uh, rider in the Slicks and Stones. So you can, that's how good a rider she is. Not long to this last gravel sector now. Let's see what happens. Here we are. And Neve's still in front. The gap's being whittled down to about. 20 seconds from the chasing to it's it's going to be hard for them to to catch her at the end i think neve's so strong and here's the following five neve fisher black gravel and tar la femme first across the line first gci win and a great start for her for the 2020 season so how was that ladies <laughs> it was brutal <laughs> tougher People have said that before, they said it's just so hard. Yeah, people have said that and um, I was hoping that they were exaggerating. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't exaggerating. Hey, well, well done, well done. Thanks.